So I officially now finished my first month and it just feels so surreal and I still I don't even realize that I'm in Louisiana. I think it's still such a dream come true for me that I've been able to go to so many events, so many adventures, meet so many people, and this first month has just been so much fun, and I can't wait for many more. Now, your new Miss Louisiana is contestant number 22, Miss Natchitoches City of Lights, Mackenzie Scroggs. What went through your mind when it was just down to two of you and then uh, your name was called? I think it's just fulfilled with all kind of emotions. You have excitement, nerves, anxious, but I just realized that no matter what, God would open the door if he wanted it to open, and I'm able to have this job, and I'm so grateful. Tell us, what's it like for you to be Miss Louisiana? It's been a dream of mine ever since I was seven years old. My mom was a delegate in this organization, so growing up, she taught me what the five pillars of this organization are, their service style, scholarship, success, and sisterhood. She taught me about what the scholarships did for her, what the sisterhoods did for her, all of the memories she made, and I knew that I had to be on the same stage. I had to have these same experiences. So being Miss Louisiana has been a dream of mine ever since I was seven, and I'm so grateful to have this job. Tell us a little bit about what is your goal as Miss Louisiana? My goal is to be On able to implement my program, organization, being to the board of directors. Schools, thank you for joining us tonight. Wherever I can, because confidence is so important, and when you are confident, you can do anything that you put your mind to. So, if I'm able just to impact at least one person, that would be a successful year to me. Tell us, uh, how did you come about this idea? When I was about 13 years old, I hit an all-time low with my confidence. I was started there to she believe is. that Louisiana I wasn't enough and I wasn't capable of doing Scrubs. what I love to do because my peers would tell me all these negative comments. And after you hear it time and time again, you start to believe it. So with the help of my mom and my dance teacher, I was able to regain my confidence and find my love of dance and my passion again. But I realized that not everyone has the opportunity to have these role models. So I wanted to be that role model for people and for young kids to be able to realize that no matter what with confidence, you could do whatever you put your mind to. What kind of results have you seen from these efforts? I've been able to watch kids and especially young girls in my dance studio grow up in my program because that's actually where I started it was at my dance studio and one of my favorite stories is my two Florida princesses actually started the program when they were about five and this year they dedicated their dance duet to my program and talked about how no matter what they stayed true to themselves and they were confident and now that they can do what they want to do they could be dancers they could go on stage by themselves and not be scared because they have the confidence to do so. Tell us a little bit about uh, your education plans. So I am a student at Northwestern State University and with the scholarship dollars that I've received through this organization, I'll actually be able to go debt free. And Northwestern is the only college in the state of Louisiana to offer a four year dance program. So being able to go to Northwestern and major in something that I've loved ever since I was the age of two and be able to open up my own dance studio and install that love and passion for dance like my dance teacher did for me and I'm just so grateful. Tell us, how has the scholarship money helped not only you, but the other women that compete at Miss Louisiana? All the scholarships that we get through this organization helps every single girl different ways. I know, like I said, my mom grew up in this organization and she taught me that the scholarship dollars allowed her to go to Northwestern also and be able to become an educator and become to follow her dreams. So each of these scholarship dollars allows these girls to go to school, follow their dreams and get the education that they want to be able to get these goals that they dreamed about their whole entire lives. You're now going to be uh, getting ready for Miss America. What kind of preparations are you going to make? I think the preparation is just exactly like Miss Louisiana and I think as long as I stay true to myself and know that if I'm confident in being the true McKenzie then everyone's going to be able to see who McKenzie is on that stage and that's what I plan to do.